Yates hits first day 100. Warwickshire will want to forget their trip to Emirates Riverside. Even disruptions thanks to the weather could do little to help them there. Worcestershire, meanwhile, are unbeaten, but winless. Four draws the sum of their season so far. The pairs won the toss and took to the field, but it wouldn't be long before that decision bore fruit. Rhodes out early. Caught by the floppy-hatted Cox, Leach with the first breakthrough of the day. Milan and Yates hit back at Worcestershire. Their partnership would take the hosts through to 50, and they kept going. The pair's progress was halted, and the second wicket partnership was soon worth 50 runs. The score was ticking along nicely, Milan enjoying his innings, with Yates well set at the other end. By the time they'd played their way through to lunch, the score was 95 for 1, and Yates needed just two more to pick up a 50. An ill-advised leave from Milan gave Worcestershire a second breakthrough after lunch. He was bowled by Barnard. Yates then ticked over to his 50. The knock scored off 87 balls. Haynes' stay at the crease brought him just eight runs before Dolivera snuck one under his sweep to bowl him. Lamb and Yates took the score past 150, but the former had yet to find his feet, and it wouldn't be long before he'd go. It would be Leach with the wicket. The ball was prodded at and edged through to Cox. Burgess would avoid the same fate. He stuck with Yates and hoped to help his colleague to 100, but that would have to wait. The pair were unbeaten through to T, the score 198 for 4, and Yates just 5 shy of 3 figures. They were soon over 200 at the resumption, and then it was Yates' turn to raise the bat. A single off Dolivera took him to another century, this one coming from 200 balls. Dolivera would be the man to see the back of Yates though, caught behind for 104. Burgess was now the set bat, and was reunited with Bresnan. The pair looked to come together to take the total past 250, and Burgess had a 50 for his trouble. That was picked up off 99 balls, another decent knock from a Bears batsman. Bresnan couldn't stick with him, he was out to Barnard, caught behind for 20. Briggs had a let off, an early chance shelled to the first delivery he faced. Ollie Stone, though, wasn't so lucky. His off stump was removed by Josh Tung for a duck, and Warwick's innings was starting to wobble. They'd eventually reached the close of play at 271 for 7, a good day with the bat for the Bears giving way to some Worcestershire success with the ball late on.